Okay, I call to order tonight's Northampton City Council meeting. The time is 8.55 p.m. The per uh, first item on the agenda, garbage removal. Uh, Council Member Thomas, the, you have the floor. Thank you, Council President. Garbage. Uh, garbage. What are we going to do about it? Do you know how much waste we waste? Uh, I think we need to encourage people to stop creating trash so we can reduce our carbon footprint. How do you propose we do that? I was thinking we tax them on it. Uh, uh, treat it like buying a pack of cigarettes. Uh, we make it so expensive to throw things away that people just stop creating waste. How pedantic of you. Do you have a better idea, Philip? As a matter of fact, I do. Um, we, we treat garbage like garbage, people. Uh, what if we were to change the whole conversation around garbage? Uh, give it a new face, you know? Change, change the whole outlook on garbage and just... Uh, I think we can make it hip again and, and, you know, really laud it and praise it and celebrate garbage. Go on. I think we should bring garbage into the limelight. What's the next ship lap? The next subway tile, even. Uh, your boat or wine box. Um, your aluminum chickpea cans could be turned into lamps for your Edison bulbs. I don't know. Upcycling is so hip right now. This could be the new tiny house movement. I submit that we create a campaign. Turn your waste into living space. That's brilliant. It rhymes. All in favor of making garbage cool again? Hi. Hi. Um, Madam Chair, yes. if I may. Um, Northampton is a hotbed of overqualified baristas. Hmm. I say that we go ahead and nominate Northampton for the Forbes Overqualified Baristas Award. I mean, the baristas in this town have at least two advanced degrees. You know, Margaret, the other day at Woodstar, my, my barista held a doctorate in neuroscience. I, I never imagined I'd learned so much about how my neural pathways and the nebulas in my brain respond to my steam soy whip. Did we make it a mandate that all baristas should have two degrees? Um, no, but they must have at least one advanced degree. I mean, could you imagine getting your Americano made by someone who doesn't have a graduate degree, at least in movement? <laughs> I shudder to think about it. All in favor of submitting for the award? Aye. Aye. You know, quick question, actually. Have we, have we come to a decision on whether we were going to hold public stonings for those who forgot to reuse their reusable grocery bags? Yes. It was unanimous. Oh, good. I, I just wanted to make absolutely sure before we start stoning people and murdering publicly. Y yes, you're correct, Philip. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'd like to raise awareness um, of the large metal contraptions that are tearing up our streets and terrorizing our people. Are you talking about cars? Yes, I don't like to use their proper name. Mm. Um, I'd like to make our city even more pedestrian friendly. I feel like we're not doing enough for our residents, you know? We need to tell them they own these streets. We could do a streetwalker campaign. Philip, we cannot do a streetwalker campaign. I think this is a great idea. Did you have something in mind? Okay, hear me out. We make all drivers have to play Lou Bega's Mambo Number no. 5 the entire time that they drive through town. That's a good song. They cannot turn it off. They cannot adjust the yes. volume. No. More people would walk. They would bicycle, tricycle, unicycle, prance even. I would prance. That would certainly encourage me. Uh, I, I would sell my car and I'm second. I would sell my soul. We know, Margaret. Um, but really, really forward thinking. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Good. Great. Uh, uh, 
I just like to state for the record that I think that uh, Eric Sewer owns enough storefronts in town, doesn't own enough storefronts in town. Uh, he should own more. Well, how can we fix this? Should we do a, um, like, buy two buildings, get one free kind of deal? A buy one building, get two free. Oh. Yes, that. Uh, I turned the deed of my house over to him. He didn't even ask. I just did it. You're very dedicated, Thomas. Very All those in favor of Eric Sewer's sweetheart deal? Aye. On another matter, I'd like to propose that we remove the gender from Santa Claus or don't acknowledge him at all. Right now, he just stands for the patriarchy, and I don't know what we're teaching our children if we just allow this man to trapeze down our chimney and, and come into our home without our consent. He also represents materialism, and we're garbage people now. <laughs> I think it's good time we... We ban this Santa character for good. Personally, I don't allow cookies in my home. No refined sugars. In fact, we're all in ketosis. You look great, Margaret. I take offense to his cookie agenda. I second the ban. Great. This motion passes. Santa Claus will soon be like a la Macarena, a distant uh, history. <laughs> good one, good one Carol. Carol. Yes, yes, good one, Carol. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Okay, while we're on the subject of gender, uh, I'd like to revisit something I'm very passionate about. Making all bathrooms in Northampton gender neutral and gluten free. I'm so glad you're bringing this up again. And I do concur, although I don't think we should even call them gender neutral. What do you think? Um, Good point, Philip. Carol. Good point, Carol. I hate myself for not thinking of it first. Yes, I hate myself too, Carol. What if we just put signs on the door that say, bathroom, open to all? No, I, think, out. I think we should go deeper. I think instead of uh, text to convey it, uh, we should do this uh, sound, like, like on a monopoeia. Well, what would that be? Like a toilet flushing or a fart? We can't do that. That's too crass. Everybody knows what goes on in a bathroom. We don't need to be reminded. What, what about a light... <laughs> something simple, something airy. It was such a masculine sound. Noises aren't gender specific. Grunts scream toxic masculinity. Well, then, sighs belong to women in their unspoken judgment. Well, <laughs> you know to I don't think that. that's enough. Right. 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 council? No, 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 no. Council, that's enough. Let's table this for now. I'm going to need you to push it way, way down, way, way down deep inside you. You can talk about it, therapy, and perhaps the next meeting. Okay, last thing on the agenda is our oxygen gluten-free. 